What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMANX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have another hobby news update for the Digimon TCG. We have some information on the Adventure Box 2024. So this is the box that's going to be coming out with BT16, uh, Beginning Observer. We're going to get it around the same the release date, uh, which is May 24th. So you're going to get packs of Beginning Observer. We're going to go through and see what we get in it, see if it's worthwhile to pick these boxes up and uh, if we like it or if we think that they could have done a better job. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below. We love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. Without further ado, we have the Jamon Adventure Box 2024 ABO3. Uh, yeah, this is... We get a lot of Adventure Boxes, lots of Christmas Boxes, so it's hard to keep track of where we're at with that. But anyways, uh, so you see there we have... Uh, includes four being observer uh, booster boxes, two alt promotion cards, and one limited 1.2 inch figure. So basic, mostly like the other ones. Um, so yeah, you're getting the four packs, which sometimes you can actually get better ratios from your boxes than your, uh, than your booster boxes, depending on how many you buy. Uh, if you buy the same amount uh, of packs that's in a booster box, I've had better ratios out of these these packs, so uh, it's interesting. Uh, not the not the double packs. The double packs are garbage. But like when you get four packs, you can get some good stuff in there. Um, so yeah, BT sixteen. So they're doing again because it's BT sixteen and it's based on that uh, uh, Digimon Adventure the beginning the beginning uh, with the Adventure two guys. We're getting all Adventure 02 guy figurines, which is cool. Vmon looks really cool. They all look really kind of cool. Uh, the stands are kind of nice, so that's cool. You can use them as memory counters. I like that. Uh, and then the promotional cards, again, are all the guys, Digimon. Uh, it's the promo ones that came out uh, around Christmas time. So that's kind of nice because it does give people uh, easier access. And they are the foiled out border versions, so they are kind of a little bit nicer ones. Uh, although the foil on the ones that they already put out were extremely nice. So I do think that those are really good. So, But uh, these look really, really cool as well. I'm excited because I think uh, I'll really enjoy these as well as the other foils. And the nice thing too is you get two out of, out of the uh, six. So that's really cool because it makes it easier to get play sets. Uh, easier to get play sets than you otherwise would be if you had to do it another way. So that's something that's really nice. Uh, it's always f interesting to try and figure out how many you're going to have to buy in order to get play sets of things. Like when, when you, even when you have four, only four cards, uh, you're still buying 16, right? Whereas if you buy six of these, six, six of these boxes, you have, you potentially have half a play set if you get, if you get one of each basically. Um, so that's kind of nice does decrease the total amount you have to buy to try and pick up these cards so that I really do agree with that and they do look really good so I'm really happy about that um, and that's pretty much it for the adventure box it's going to come out at the same time might be hard to pick up but it is available uh, through the universal distribution that I use for Digimon so it means it's going to be a lot easier than the last box uh, the last boxes the Christmas boxes came out but the uh, resurgence boxes were hard to get so that was unfortunate um, and then we have some other stuff here we got some more news that show off the evolution cup cards that we talked about already uh, it's funny here they posted these from like tournament pack six and x record and they're like like two years two years ago or <laughs> it's been a long time since uh these cards actually came out but we do have some news we got another ultimate cup uh here listed for June, July 13th online. So hopefully I can go to that one because then I can get my uh, get my last copy of Flamemon and potentially hopefully win some other stuff. So that's nice. I'm excited about that. And then uh, Digimon Regionals Championship Wave 2. Um, they haven't listed any more dates for North America. Hopefully they will. I'm hoping it's not just one uh, online one. And then they go to the third wave in like September. But I mean, we have to August, so we could potentially see a regionals in August. But I'm hoping we might see something in July. 
Um, cause I'm hoping we do see like potentially one of each in August or at least a second one of this and another one of these in August, but we'll see what happens. Uh, they, they're releasing the dates as they go along. So that's it for the hobby news, uh, adventure box three ultimate cup. We're getting more events, which is really nice. And, uh, some, some cool alt arts. So that'll be nice. And, uh, hopefully when BT 16 comes out, it'll be, uh, a, a worthwhile buy, you know, we'll see. It'd be cool to pull a special or a promo or the low pull rates from an adventure box. That would be like, I don't know if anyone's ever done a video about that, but that would be kind of cool. So we'll see what happens in the future. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day. And that's all for now, folks.